This is Dave Humphrey, and I wanted to give you a quick demo of a tool that I've been working on called DXR. And DXR is a tool that combines static analysis data with the ability to do searches and looking around through source code, so a source code reference. And it comes out of the an idea that was first put forward by Dave Mandelin. He was talking about a year ago about how he uses MXR. So MXR, which I'll show you in a second, is a tool that we use at Mozilla a lot to navigate around and look at source code. And he was interested in looking at a particular piece of code and being able to go from, okay, here I have a variable, here I have a method call, and I'd like to know what this actually is. And so he talks about you know, using a search-based tool in order to get at this. And he's saying, well, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we could take some of these static analysis tools that we're working on and, and use those? So I thought it was an interesting idea, and I set out to try and do it. And the first thing that I had to do was to learn this tool, Dehydra. And I just wanted to mention it because I think that more people should be using it as a way of trying to understand and navigate their way through C++ code. This is a tool that Terrace and others have, have worked on. And it's the backbone of a lot of what I'm going to show you. So here's a, a demo. This is the code or the, the current version of the code that Dave was looking at. And he was interested in figuring out what this variable and what this method call are. So today with, with MXR, what I can do is I can click on any of these and it will do a search. So if I click on set parent, it does a search for me and it shows me lots of places where something called set parent is used. And so I have a couple of choices. I can start to work my way through these, which is what Dave did when he was blogging about this. Or I can ask someone or I don't, but there isn't a really easy way for me to go from I have this particular code here or even this variable and knowing, you know, what it is. It, it requires more knowledge of the person using it. So here's the same code now in DXR. And... So you can see the lines here. And what I'm going to do is I'm interested, first of all, in this variable. So I'm going to click on the variable, and it's going to go and ask the database, ask the server for some more information. And so it's going to tell me about this variable, the type of the variable, where the variable is declared. So if I click on this, it'll hop me up to the location where that variable was declared. And I have other information here. I can figure out information about the type, where the type was declared, if I want to go and look at it, you know, what members it has, base classes, derived classes, other users, and so on. So the thing that we're interested in at the moment is knowing about this particular set parent method. So I'm going to click on set parent, and it's going to do another lookup, and it's going to tell me that this set parent method was declared here. So I could go and look at that, but I'm most interested in the implementations of this method. So the code has been refactored a bit since, since Dave blogged, and it, there's now only one implementation. Often you'll have a few implementations that are possible, if you're, especially if you're looking at an IDL or an interface type. So I can go and I can click on this, or I can look at other places where this particular set parent method is called, if I was interested in those. So I could jump over here, for example, and I can see... It'll load this in. So I'm in another file, and you can see that it's being called. And it's not just the same words. It's the same method. Um, and I know that because of Dehydra. So if I jump back to this set parent method that we were looking at here, if I'm interested in looking at the implementation itself, I can click on that, and it'll jump me over to this file, and I'm now able to see it. Over on the left here, I have, you'll notice, this outline, which shows me the various things that are available in this file. So I can click on different things and it'll jump me around the file. I can also jump between declarations and definitions. So right now I'm looking at the implementation here or the definition. If I wanted to see the declaration, I can click on this and I get taken to this file and it shows me where this, uh, this was declared. And you can see that the icon has changed now. So if I wanted to jump back, I can do that. So I can jump between the two of them. So anything in here that I, that I want to click on, I can. Uh, so if I was interested in this macro, for example, I can click on that and I can go and see what this macro is all about. Um, so the basic idea is that I, I replace search with lookup. And so I'm, I'm not having to sort through a lot of results. I'm able to just click and figure out what I want. So some other things I'll just show you quickly here is how we can do uh, various kinds of searches. So 
I still have some of the kinds of searches that are available in MXR. Here I've done a search for this string open and you can see there's lots of things come up. But if it knows about other things it also tells me. So for example it knows that there's a type that has the word open in it. There's a macro. There are these files. There are lots of members. So open stream for example, embed private open stream. So I can get a little bit more information that way. I can also do searches for um, types and methods, and there's a couple of ways I can do it. So for example, I can type in nsaccessible colon colon set parent, and when I do that, instead of giving me text searches, it gives me this information. So I have two things. I have the declaration and I have the definition, and I can jump to either of those if I wanted to. If I instead wanted to see all of the members of nsaccessible, I can just remove that, do colon colon, and press enter, and I now have all of those listed here for me. Um, some other things to show you quickly. Um, I can search for a type if I wanted to. So if I wanted to see all of the different types that begin with NSI file, so NSI file picker, NSI file view, and so on, I can do that. And it'll tell me whether it's an interface, a class, a struct, or whatever it is. And I can jump to those declarations. I can also do uh, searches for things that are derived. So if I was interested in knowing what is derived from NSI file, I can come here and it'll look that up for me. I can do member lookup. So I've already shown you some of this, but if I wanted to look up a member called copy to, so here I have various things called copy to, and we've made it so that it's more inclusive rather than less, so that if you, you, know, you don't have to type everything out. If I wanted to further limit this, I could add a type NSI local file. Whoops, NS local file. And I could see just those particular types. We can do searches for macros. So if I was looking for macros that begin NS ensure, I can see all those macros and the values that they have. So MX, or DXR rather is a tool that's still very experimental and it's something that has a lot of bugs. I've shown you things that work well. There's lots of things that still don't work well. There's lots of things that aren't included yet, like JavaScript or Python or other sorts of uh, files that we rely on that we really need information for, and that stuff's coming. But it's, uh, it's available, and it's something that you can start to uh, use and work on with us. Thanks very much.